Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. So I thought I would jump on as I've been inspired to do this video for the last week now and this video is basically sharing the fact that I have been three years alcohol free this week. I can't remember the exact date, I think it was like the 17th of February um, and yeah I just wanted to share like how this has this choice literally changed my life in so many ways and how it happened in a moment and i have done a video on this before where i had i call it my quantum leap and i can link that video for you and, and just for those who don't know who i am my name's syra i'm a doula healer tarot reader and I basically um, create videos and content just to share my experience and my spiritual journey and my recipes as a follower of a raw vegan lifestyle and I'm currently fasting at the moment. I'm on day 19 of the 40 day fast uh, and I'm feeling great and amazing. But I got this, um, I got this inspiration to do a video and I, I you know, when I realised, oh my God, it's been three years since I drank alcohol, it was like, I think a friend said to me, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing, celebrate that. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I don't really like, I haven't really like given it too much thought because I just, it's just, I'm a version of myself that doesn't drink anymore. But I, I love to drink. Like I was somebody who was very social. Like I absolutely like was very much in the thick of it. Like drinking was part of my life. I loved wine, I loved spirits, brandy and whiskey. I loved all of it, I really did. I used to be a DJ, so I loved the party scene, so it all came with it. I would never class myself as an addict or anything like that, but I was a social drinker. But what I noticed that when I, and you check out the video around my quantum leap, because it was a decision, it was a choice that I made. And there was, there was when I obviously went raw vegan, having alcohol and being raw and being so clean after I had my fast, the two just didn't mix. As you can imagine so it was started to organically happen anyway and i started to notice that my choices when i had alcohol and the way i was like being clean my choices weren't aligned to where i was going when i had the alcohol and it might only have been a glass of wine so over time i was like it just didn't feel right but it was a moment when i had a glass of wine and i was in um an internal dialogue with myself around do I drink this glass of wine and I made the choice to say no and give that glass of wine to my friend and in that moment I kid you not I did a quantum leap to a new version of myself and it was so big this jump that I never looked back and it was quite tangible that I knew that I would never drink again because and I never really felt um that it was a struggle, that it was hard for me to not drink. And even when people was around me drinking, it was like, is this okay? I'm like, it doesn't phase me because I literally jumped to a new timeline, but it wasn't like a little jump where it's like I had to, you know, have support or anything like that, or it was quite challenging. It was like such a huge jump. It was very tangible that I was a different person. Um, and if you know anything about how we can jump timelines and things like that, you'll know that we're always shifting, always, in every single moment we're shifting. Uh, we're never staying the same. It's like a um, a film and it's frames happening, but it's happening so fast. And if we don't change that much, that we don't see that playing out in your reality, unless you make a huge um, change in your life in a moment, a decision, then you'll notice you'll be catapulted. And it really did free me. That's what I really feel uh, like I have been freed from alcohol. And it definitely helped me step into my purpose work. Like it would have held me back um, because I wouldn't have believed in myself as much as I do now because alcohol, you know, it, create, it brings it with it self-sabotaging thoughts. And um, for me, I noticed that I used to drink to help with my social anxiety. I didn't know I had social anxiety before, but I always drank before I went out, before I went into a pub, before I'd meet friends, I'd always have a glass of wine at home. And I don't, didn't really like put the two and two together it was because I had social anxiety, but 
I wasn't really confident in my own skin and I used alcohol to mask that. And I am so much more confident and sure of myself because I know who I am now. Now I don't have the alcohol and going into a pub, which is very rare that I do that now, is I don't feel that need to like um, where I feel uncomfortable. So that in itself, where I've gained more confidence within myself has been a game changer to get me on the path of my sole purpose and to be confident in my own abilities. And definitely has helped me increase my energy as well because I now like strength train. I like get up really early in the morning. I was a night out before, now I'm early. So it's definitely shifted um, the dynamics around, you know, my circadian rhythm really and also um brought me back into balance with that um and sleeping at the right time and being more connected with what my body needs and um it's been amazing because it's definitely increased my energy because i've now got the energy to go to the gym and obviously being raw has definitely helped that because when you drink you lose so much energy it depletes you it's life taking not life giving and that's one thing I definitely noticed and it's definitely created a, um, a basis and foundation for me to connect with more like-minded souls and I've um, brought in and, and, and magnetised people that are more like-minded that don't necessarily have uh, alcohol as the forefront of their life where before it was mine and it's created deeper connections and it's like kind of brought me to a community where it's like my soul family my soul tribe and that that's been absolutely fantastic and also just being you know more productive in life like getting things done you know not dreading the mondays where you're going to be hung over or anything like that it's um that has just been like i remember mondays i just did not like mondays like oh god no one likes mondays but for me, I don't even think about that now. I don't have this narrative like, oh my God, I'm like hungover or from the weekend. It just doesn't even play into it. And apparently you can be 50% less productive when you have a drink. Um, and, you know, I've definitely noticed I'm a lot more productive. And just the weight loss, like the amount of like um, calories, wasted calories that we use um, because of drinking. And, you know, it's very easily easy to have a lot of calories with alcohol and then suddenly you're putting the weight on so i mean that it is great what for what i noticed as well and just better skin better um just better skin better sleep the brain fog um just overall better health and obviously that could be contributed to me being more vegan but just overall the dynamics of my life and not having alcohol be the crutch that has helped me actually show up and uh, be in life um, and take that away and, and become more secure within myself has been absolutely a transformation and a game changer it really has and you know when you make the choice it to, to stop drinking it will change your life for the better so my phone cut off then but yeah it definitely will change your life for the better and um I, I you know if you've got this inner conflict where you know your soul your body wants you to give up the alcohol but you've got this narrative or this belief in your head where it's like well who am i going to be if i'm i don't drink or you know what about my friends and you know all of that like your life will improve you know if if they're true friends and they'll stay in your life and if not you'll get new friends and you will it's dropping the narrative around i have to drink because it's a social thing it's what's expected of me um that's just a story a narrative and it's keeping you in this um it's keeping you small it's keeping you in a place that is not your for your highest good and we all like we all want to like give, you know give up alcohol because we know it's toxic for our body well, those who are on the path definitely know that it's toxic for their body and they want to give it up i don't want to generalize to be fair but some people are very happy with their life and, and that and that's okay but those who 
are in this dialogue and in this conflict and suffering because they know they are not applying their application of truth and they are in this place of still drinking but they know it's not what their soul is guiding them it can be challenging and it creates a lot of suffering but when you literally surrender and just cut cut the band-aid just cut the whatever it is and say no and choose differently go against what the narrative is go against what the ego is saying to you and you truly truly surrender you will catapult you will quantum leap into a newer version of yourself that just doesn't drink that is a fact um but the suffering that they cut that that in a conflict is it's a challenge it's not easy i know i went through it that day i chose no i was in internal conflict for about an hour deciding whether i have some of that wine or not and then when i gave it to my friend it was it was i knew i knew in that moment i would never drink again so you can do it and um yeah i hope this video um, you found useful and if you want to check out my uh, offerings or services, I'll link that below. I'm a doula healer tarot reader and a holistic practitioner. Um, and if you want a free health MOT and health analysis, which I can, will show you any areas of your bodily systems that are weak or need support, then let me know, reach out and we'll, we'll book something in and I, um, I can just bring awareness to, to the areas that are weak um, and no commitment needed. So... Um, and check me out on Instagram as well. So yeah, I hope this video you found it useful. Um, please like, comment and share. Have a blessed day everybody.